Hey everybody, welcome back to Talk That Talk. So we have to talk about Nicki Minaj and her husband Kenny because there has been a video that has been released that is basically vindicating Kenny. Okay, so there was a case between him and Jennifer and there was an alleged sexual assault case and accusations against Kenny. So let me play you the video clip lie under oath and regardless if i made a statement or didn't make a statement that is the reason why i stood up in court and i said when a judge acts like yo does anybody have anything to say before he is sentenced i stood up and i said your honor i'm the person who pressed the charges i would like to drop the charges i made a huge mistake wow. this was a, like i'm in court in front of his family in front of friends in front of everybody like whatever and they was like take it to the da and nobody wanted to hear because he probably didn't have a paid lawyer at that time uh, right. statute of limitations on perjury perjury is when you lie under oath and regardless if i made a statement or didn't make a statement that is the reason why i stood up in court and i said when a judge acts like yo does anybody have anything to say before he is sentenced I stood up and I said, Your Honor, I'm the person who pressed the charges. I would like to drop the charges. I made a huge mistake. Wow. This was a, like, I'm in court in front of his family, in front of friends, in front of everybody, like, whatever. And they was like, take it to the DA. And nobody wanted to hear Because he probably didn't have a paid lawyer at that time. There's a right. statute of limitations on oh, The judge specifically said, take it to the DA. And everybody looked at the DA, and the DA shook her head like it's not happening. Like oh, cause cause they didn't want you. They didn't want you to go to court because you recanted right. your story. You told them it never happened. X Y Z. You was young. You was pressured. Correct, right? Yeah. So that's why. Yeah, babe. Talking. Yeah. So that's probably why they was so thirsty because they knew the case would have fell through the roof. Because if you'd have said that on on a stand. They never call me to the stand. They never uh, question. Oh, uh, that's the difference. The judge specifically said, take it to the DA. And everybody looked at the DA and the DA shook her head like, it's not happening. Like, oh, because because they didn't want you. They didn't want you to go to court because you recanted right. your story. You told them it never happened. X, Y, Z. You was young. You was pressured. Correct. Right. Yeah. So that's why. Yeah, babe. Talking. Yeah. So that's probably why. They were so thirsty because they knew the case would have fell through the roof. Because if you would have said that on, on the stand. They never called me to the stand. So as you heard in this clip, she wanted to recant her statement of the accusation she made against Kenneth Petty. So what do you guys think about this whole situation? I know that he has had several court dates and this has been a lengthy, lengthy process for him and also Nicki Minaj so what do you guys think about this whole situation and this video clip coming out about her wanting to recant her statement against Kenneth Petty all right so now let's talk about Beyonce so Beyonce has been spotted on vacation just days before the VMAs and fans are assuming that she will not be performing at the VMAs so did you guys think that it was a chance that Beyonce would be performing at the VMAs due to Break My Soul being out as one of her singles and her just releasing her Renaissance album? Fans are also stating that her promo for this album is pretty much kind of lackluster. So we still don't have a video for Break My Soul. Um, we don't know if she's going on tour. We know that that is a possibility from a UK Ticketmaster site, but we don't really know what else is going on and we are seeing beyonce on vacation so what do you think beyonce has planned next for us as far as this album rollout now let's talk about megan the stallion so megan the stallion reveals that jt was supposed to be on her album trauma zine but she didn't get on the album because jt didn't submit in her verse fast enough so you was like 
you got some female artists on there, so the other girls turning in like they working their pen. They was, but you know who ain't turning in they verse that quick and she was supposed to be on the album? Who? <sighs> JV. Why? I don't know, ask her. Okay, I'm gonna ask her. <laughs> <laughs> Now, remember when I was talking about Megan Thee Stallion's album and how she was saying she had a lot of female rappers on there and their pen game is great and all that stuff. And I was wondering who was going to be on the album. It's interesting that she wanted JT to be on the album, but why not the City Girls as a group? I mean, Megan was talking about this on Carisha Please and... I am going to be watching the episode tonight at 8 o'clock. I don't know if you guys will be watching, but I will be watching. And if there's anything interesting that I find out, I will talk about it. But we just saw JT on Carisha Please. And JT was talking about how, you know, she will basically try to push for people who only ask her to be on a song to let Young Miami be on the song as well for them as a group. Is that why JT wasn't in a rush to submit her verse back? to Megan because the city girls weren't asked to be on the album just JT and how weird is that to sit there and ask Carisha well basically talk to Carisha that yeah JT was supposed to be on my album knowing damn well that JT and Young Miami are a group that's odd to me I don't know if they're gonna go into that but we will find out okay now speaking of the city girls I noticed that the City Girls fell out of the Best Group category for the VMA Award. You guys know I talked about them being nominated for the VMA Award, basically the Best Group category. And I said in that video that it is going to be pretty tough because they have BTS in there. So it turns out the award is now between BTS and Blackpink. So did you guys vote for them or not? Because I voted for them. I knew it was going to be tough for them because they were going against some pretty popular groups. So we, we got to do better. You know, we got to do better for the city girls. They definitely need to get out here a little bit more. So we'll see. I mean, I know that they got an album in the stash that they haven't released yet because Beyonce released their album and everybody else's album was pretty much on hold. So we'll see what they're coming with. Now we have to talk about Jason Lee. All right, so Jason Lee decides to come for Nicki Minaj and he was calling her old with the age discrimination, calling her old to be a rapper and that she'll never see another number one. So fans are basically saying that they are big mad at Nicki Minaj's success. So what do you think about this whole thing? Let me play you guys the clip. Or has been, Nikki. Nothing you put out from this day forward will ever chart number one. You will never see another number one again. Your career has Stevie Wonder's eyes. Not only Stevie Wonder's eyes, it has the eyes of Stevie Wonder fucked Ray Charles. That's how fucking far you will have to go to see another number one. You will never see it. You will never see it. Stevie Wonder can see better than the future does for your number one. You will never see one. Because God will not bless miserable ass, hating ass, negative ass people. He is putting blessings in your life. He gave you a baby, a healthy, beautiful baby. He gave you a husband. I mean, you probably got him because you needed protection because we all know without him, you probably get beat up by some of these girls you talking shit about because they're all younger than you. Let me see. I wrote down your ages. You are old. To be in the rap game, you're an old woman. You're 39 years old. Yes, I'm 45, but I look better than your career at this point. People are still paying you because you have social media followers and you have a terrorist group as a fan base and all they do is sit up and suck their thumb. So after watching the clip, how do you feel about this? Where is this coming from? Why do you think he went out of his way to go against Nicki Minaj and say all of this? Leave your feelings down below. All right, let's move on to Holly Bailey. So is Holly going to have a huge hit song on her hands? So she tweeted that she's working with Diane Warren in the studio. And we discussed Diane Warren before when Diane was questioning Beyonce for having over 40 writers, I believe, on one song on the Renaissance album. Now, Diane Warren has written hit songs for a lot of artists. She's legendary, okay? Including Brandy, Tony Braxton, and more. So... Is Holly going to have a hit on her hands? And fans are also questioning, why is she working with Diane Warren 
due to Diane recently coming for Beyonce. Okay, so what do you think about that situation? Lastly, I wanted to give a shout out to Dolce because I really am a fan of Dolce and I love her song Persuasive and I was glad to see that her song Persuasive has now sold over 100k units in the US. So if you like Dolce, keep supporting her, keep listening to her music so she can start to get on top. And that is all I have for today. I will see you guys in another video. Bye.